So friends, today we are going to talk about an important topic. In the previous class, we talked about asthma. Okay. Uh, today we will discuss about bronchitis. Okay. What is today's topic? Bronchitis. Okay. So basically, uh, it is a lung disease. Okay. It is a lung disease. We know that it is a lung disease. So, what happened in that? So, we have the tubes, vent tube, and bronchi, bronchiole, bronchiais, bronchus, primary bronchus, secondary bronchus, hereditary bronchus, and alveoli. So, in that, the bronchial, bronchial lining is affected. Okay. So, we know that, that the inner lining of the lungs is epithelial tissue. Okay, epithelial tissue has the ability to release mucus. Okay, so what happened in that lining? In that lining, there is inflammation. So, this is a lung disease. What happened? Uh, the lining of bronchial okay, tubes are are affected. Okay. So in that bronchitis, bronchitis is a lung disease and it is affected to the bronchial tubes which are present in the lungs which are responsible to take the air when we are inhaling through the tubes it will enter into the alveoli from the alveoli it will reach to the blood from the blood to other parts of the body okay, from the blood to the heart from the heart to the other parts of the body there is the basic cycle respiratory cycle Okay, so but here what happened? The tubes, when you are going, when the air is entering into the tube, is that lining is affected. So there's the reason in that condition. What happened? The patient will have symptoms of respiratory system, like cough. Cough with some patients have cough with uh, uh, mucus, some have dry cough okay, without mucus. If the mucus is indicated, so we have different colors of mucus, yellowish color. So basically, what are the initial symptoms? A cough, cough with mucus. Or without mucus, okay, this is one of the main symptoms, and sometimes a respiratory or SOB shortness of breath, sometimes, okay, mucus, it may be yellow in color or. White color, not white milky white, okay. And uh, we have sometimes a red color. It indicates the indicates the blood in the scrotum, greenish color, green color sometimes, red color, green color, okay. This indicates the the present of uh, the present of uh, fungus in the lungs. Red color indicates the presence of lead in the lead type problem in the lungs. White or uh, yellow color indicates that the problem within the lungs. 
Okay, so these are the when you see the mucus, it will give you clarity. Okay, next thing you have to remember that the patient has shortness of breath whenever he is talking, he is talking, difficulty in sitting, or sometimes difficulty in laying supine position. He is okay with sitting, okay, not laying down. He has shortness of breath. Okay, so this indicates the problem in the lungs. And if the problem increases, the patient will have fever. This is the most important fever. And even sometimes the patient will have some other problems okay, with fever, like uh, he have in need or uh, sometimes okay uh, sometimes uh, with with fever without fever you can uh, see the patient so these are the main common symptoms of bronchitis and some patients have cold okay cold you can see that and if the problem is not treated well, so it will become acute to chronic. Okay, so it will become acute to chronic, and the patient will have a uh, severe cough, sputum. I already told you that the patient will have red color, uh, sputum. It indicates that the the presence of infection, severe infection in the lungs you need to treat the patient immediately so let's see some images here you can see that this is the uh, normal bronchi okay so this is the bronchitis this is the inflammation okay so that's the reason the patient having when you check with the status code what you will get you will get wheezing sound What you will get? Wheezing sound. So, wheezing sound indicates the inflammation. And you can see that this is the uh, thing will happen in the bronchitis. Okay. Next, we have some other images. You can see that this is the what type of blood test we need to do. Okay. What type of investigation you need? Initially, you need one simple X-ray, and to see the with whether the presence of inflammation, you need ESR and CRP, okay, which you view the inflammation which is present in the body. So initially, we uh, try to examine the lungs directly. But after that. The blood CBP also sometimes needed. So these are the basic investigations of choice in the bronchitis to see the inflammation and X-ray whether there is any other possibilities of problem in the lungs. Okay. So X-ray and ESR CRPC these are the basic investigation. You can see this image. This is the X-ray of a patient which indicates the uh, bronchitis. Okay. You can see that we will study how to read excellent, but here you can see that inflammatory conditions. We can see this is the area where the difficulty of taking the air from the uh, lungs is seen here. So you can see the x ray. Or else, uh, sometimes uh, our radio radiologist also will give the impression where you can study the X ray issues. Okay. This is a simple thing I can analyze to you. In the initial stage, you can see the X ray and you can study the report of the doctor given. So we'll see the one of the 
report. Sometimes you maybe read CT just to study deeper level any issues in the X-ray. Other things you can see that this is the bronchi or normal bronchial tube. This is the thick mucus. Here we have the epithelial tissue. Due to the inflammation, the epithelial tissue is uh, gathered the mucus, mucus there. So we can see the inflammation in the bronchi. So this is the bronchi, bronchioles, and uh, other issues, bronchitis. We talked about the disease. The symptoms, the basic investigations, and we studied it. We saw the x ray. Now, the treatment part. So, basically, we know that we have the remedies. What are the remedies you can select in mostly? We have P1, P2, P3, and P4. These are the remedies present for respiratory system. Other than that, we may need sometimes S5 or C5, then one, G8, B8, verb one also, or verb two. In the electricities, you need G, B, uh, the, you know, to see the uh, cells to improve the uh, mucous membrane, you need C5, S5, or sometimes S3, C3. It's because structural changes are seen here, okay, you need C3 or C5. Okay, sometimes to remove the mucus, excess mucus, you need to uh, you need the remove. To remove the mucus, we can, you need sometimes C17. Okay. And we have uh, the connection with the lungs, with the brain. So sometimes you need F1. Okay. And uh, we need A2 also sometimes okay. to remove the impurities from the lungs membrane. So these are the uh, remedies we need to select from them. So basically, the formula we will give in the bronchitis is P2, C13, BE, or G sometimes. Okay. B initially you can give B and P3, C13, BE, or G. BE or G. B E R H and you can add C seventeen okay for to remove the excess mucus okay and we have another remedies also if the severe issues P two when one G okay and for application you need P two or P3 plus B. Okay, this is for application. So if the fever, the patient will have fever, you need to add when one and F1 also. And if the patient doesn't have fever, only cough. Okay, that is related to the brain. Okay, you need to calm down the brain. So you have P2, C13, F1, B. Sometimes you need S10 also. So depending upon the condition, you can select from this remedies, which will give the wonderful results. But you know, you need to know that the patient is in acute condition or chronic condition. Okay. And you have to do with pulse diagnosis and it's very important. That other than lungs, which organ is affected? And which what is what is the cause of this uh, having the bronchitis? Okay, so then you will get a, a better result along with this treatment. How to treat the reason behind the bronchitis? You will get after pulse diagnosis. Okay, you have to do pulse diagnosis and you have to know 
the patient temperament because temperament is very very important in electrical therapy. Okay, so this is all about bronchitis. So we selected sample topic today. So daily we will discuss one uh, disease symptoms, how to diagnosis and treatment. This is all about in today's class. Any doubts, kindly ask.